What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Breaking news on MLB Chatterbox and in the baseball world. Uh, bad news for the Dodgers if you just saw the conclusion of this NLCS matchup between the Braves and the Dodgers in Game 4 from Chavez Ravine. Uh, bad news for the Dodgers. Why? Well, because Justin Turner is likely out for the rest of this postseason with an apparent leg injury. Yes, he suffered it running down the first baseline on a ground ball. I do believe it was to shortstop, I do believe. I could be wrong. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I will show you the video here. You can obviously see what has happened with Justin Turner, an apparent leg injury that will cost him the rest of this 2021 postseason. And why do I say this? Well, because Dave Roberts, the Dodger manager, basically says that Turner is done. Here's a tweet from Dylan Hernandez of the LA Times. He's a sports columnist. He tweets out this. He says, quote, grade two hamstring strain for Turner, according to Roberts, a quote from Roberts, I think that will be it for him, Roberts said. So that's not good. So Turner, he's gone. And this is terrible news for the Dodgers. Why? Well, because um, now you're without Justin Turner. And you've been without Max Muncy throughout the whole postseason. And you're now on the brink of elimination from the 2021 postseason at the hand of the Atlanta Braves. And again, this is not Gavin Lux. I mean, no disrespect to Lux or anybody on the Dodgers. But this is a seasoned veteran, an intern for the Dodgers, who is going to be out. He's done. He's not coming back. Even if the Dodgers win and make the World Series, it doesn't look like he's coming back. I mean, Muncie has a better shot of coming back in the World Series if the Dodgers make it that far than Turner does uh, with his apparent uh, hamstring injury. And again, as you know, Justin Turner has been a potent postseason player in his career, all with Los Angeles. Again, just some postseason totals. Turner has hit 13 career postseason home runs, has driven in 42 postseason career RBIs, and he has a postseason batting average of 274, a slugging percentage of 475 in the post, and an OPS over 8.5 at 847 in October. So, Justin Turner, as you guys know, has been so valuable for the Dodgers. He's come up in big games this season, in years past, in World Series, in the you know World Series the Dodgers have won 2020, and in World Series the Dodgers have lost in 2017 and 2018. So Justin Turner going down is a nightmare for the Dodgers. And of course, it even sucks more because they're on the brink of elimination. I mean, if they were up in the series and had a you know firm lead of this championship series against the Bravos, then you know I guess you could say, well, they're the Dodgers; they can figure it out. Well, unfortunately, right now it hasn't gone the Dodgers' way, and they haven't taken control of this series thus far against the Braves. And again, a Justin Turner is a big part of that because again, Justin Turner could could have an immaculate performance at any time, and that could have been possibly tomorrow night um, in game number five here in the NLCS. But unfortunately, that possibility has been whitewashed totally due to this hamstring injury that has sidelined Justin Turner for the rest of the season. And, you know, if I'm the Dodgers, and I'm a Dodgers fan, you know, the loss hurts. But this stings if I'm a Dodger fan because, again, it's just, it's just knowing that the possibility of Justin Turner going off in Game 5 of this NLCS is frankly non-existent now. There's no way. There's no way uh, that Justin Turner can help out this Dodger team and again, the Dodgers, they have pieces they can move. We'll see if they play pool holes. I mean, Taylor's going to be, you know, a big part of this now. I mean, you're hoping if Pujols plays, he gets a couple of big knocks. I mean, you hope Pujols has a little bit left in, you know, the tank for some postseason magic. I just don't trust Pujols um, going in there and taking over. Again, Pujols does not play 
third base, I know that. But, I mean, I'm sure the Dodgers will have to maneuver some things, and I'm sure Pujols, with a veteran presence like himself, regardless if Turner got hurt, I would imagine Roberts would play uh, Pujols in a big game like this because, again, you can't rely on a guy like Cody Bellinger, who has, again, up to this point, a little bit here, has gotten hot. Got a couple big base hits tonight, hit a home run a couple nights ago, but again, you can't rely on a guy like, you know, Bellinger in, in, in critical situations like you'll be in uh, tomorrow night. And again, you can argue a guy like Turner has an equivalent amount of experience in the postseason when it comes to a guy like Pujols, because basically Pujols and Turner have had immaculate postseason careers. Of course, Pujols is on another level and a Hall of Famer, but again, postseason-wise, the experience is, is there for both Turner and Pujols, and you just hope the 40-year-old being Pujols, you know, can turn on the magic and wave that magic wand in that, you know, a wooden stick there that he holds up at the plate uh, one more time for the Dodgers. But again, you know, that sucks. This breaking news that Justin Turner will be out for the rest of the 2021 postseason with an apparent hamstring injury he suffered running down the first baseline. So like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below your thoughts on this injury and news story from Los Angeles, California, and how much do you think this will hurt the Dodgers uh, in losing Justin Turner for the rest of the way here in 2021. And as always, I'll catch you guys later.